Lake Mary is good, so many you know, creatures and uh, we are living on the island and we have a very big lake and lake is divided into three parts. We have a lower lake, middle lake and an upper lake. We find in the lake, we have a black bass. Uh, world's freshwater strongest fish. In catching them, they, uh, they fight back. We have seen uh, black bass uh, breaking uh, the fishing rods, rod tips and uh, the lures smashing them up. They are angry. Twelve months ago, we came across this business that was for sale called Angling Adventures through my brother's contacts. We ended up buying this business and, and the first port of call was to come to Papua New Guinea to uh, meet the lodge owner. And I don't want anyone spitting betel nut inside this aeroplane. <laughs> pilot. Oh, me Bob, young fellow Bob. Very excited. You're ner not nervous? Yeah, well you said I have to land it, didn't you? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's only my first time. The clouds parted and you just see this massive floodplain system lake and, and um, yeah, your fingertips start shaking just getting ready for those fish and very quickly after that we land at the local airstrip, load the gear into the boat and, and zip around here to the lodge and, and it's just a paradise. You're so savage. This is Lake Murray Lodge, exactly Western Province, PNG. Only three flights, two days. Here we are. So we've got four guides here at Lake Murray. We've got Smitty. He's uh, the master of calling out what's on the sounder. 11 feet. They're hungry fish. We've got Dennis. He's the master hunter. We've got Mare. He's the number one uh, cassowary trapper. And we've got Jam Well. Last time I was here with Jam Well, he cut up a barramundi, filleted it, and cooked it on the fire, all using his huge machete, his bush knife. So he's the cook. <laughs> it's an amazing system. Uh, looking at it on the chart, you don't realise how big it is. Um, there are four or five rivers, uh, floodplain rivers, pouring into a big, essentially flooded lake, and then only one main river out. So. There seems to be runoff fishing all through the year here. Um, perhaps got a seven month season. I think it'd take a lifetime to explore the whole thing, but these guys, the local guys, they know it backwards and um, we couldn't ask for any better guides for sure. Predominantly we've been targeting the black bass, which is I guess the, the real iconic species for the area. Immediately when someone talks about black bass is that they are one of, if not the strongest fighting freshwater fish that you can come across and this week has just proved that point to us. Uh, these fish are big, they're angry, they hit you with such force. Yep. <laughs> yep. Come on, fish! This is a very, very big, angry black bass. The bass beer. Oh! It's hard to describe a black bass. Um, the strongest fish I've ever had to fight, for sure. Particularly the first hit. That's a big fish. Up him. Oh, fuck. Up him. We're in trouble here, boys. <laughs> what has got railroaded? Yes. Mangrove jack on steroids doesn't, doesn't do them justice. They're stronger. Oh. There's absolutely no question why these things would tear you up into any snag that the fight of that fish was extraordinary. <laughs> what are you doing to me, brother? Here we go. <laughs> Second troll run. Pull on him. My shoulders are sore from pulling that in. That was unreal. That black bass has just straightened that hook. No problem at all. Six or eight kilos of drag on that, I reckon. 80 pound braid and 80 pound leader. <laughs> There's no messing around in your guinea.
There's a real, um, real black grand slam of Lake Murray if you want to try them all, but we're catching a lot of barramundi as well. And I think it's been the general consensus with our group. We all uh, couldn't believe how strong they fight. I guess they're hanging out with the black bass a lot. <sighs> <laughs> This is the biggest barrier I've caught in Upper New Guinea and it fought like a well over a metre fish from Australia. It's a big part of the trip I think is to, is to catch some fish they're a bit familiar with as well. Barra Monday fishing's been great. Barra and bass in the boat, so the bar's open. Oh we're really excited to bring, bring more and more people over here to experience the environment, uh, the culture meet these guys and the fishing is just a huge bonus on top of that adventure that you're doing. So. Whoa, look at that thing. It's really great. That is a big, big fish. Look at that. The way I see it, if you, you can come here and you can experience all that and you catch a few fish, then you know, you've had a good trip. This is why you make the effort to come and travel to these remote places. <laughs> the beautiful fish, probably the hardest fighting freshwater fish in the world. and to be able to do it with some really legendary guides that know the spots and can tell you all about the local culture and the way they live as well. It's a really special trip that we'll never forget and we'll be back again next year and I can't wait. <laughs>